I've worked on prosthetic devices for many years, and we were working on very cool robotic limbs and joints. And this technology was very exciting, and we took it out of the laboratory and took it into the clinic and showed amputees and showed prosthetists. And they looked at it and they said, well, this is really cool, but my limb really hurts. And this was when we realized that no matter how cool the device and the technology were, if it wasn't comfortable to the person, they wouldn't use it. When a person has a leg amputated, we can replace a lot of that functionality with a prosthetic device. And the technology is very good, but it still doesn't replicate fully the function of the intact limb. And so there's several problems that people experience with a prosthesis. The one that we see most commonly is that um, instead of now the person walking on the bottom of their foot, they're, they're putting their weight on uh, tissues that are higher up on their leg. And those tissues are not adapted to the kind of loads that they typically experience, like the, the sole of the foot would be. Over time, as they walk on the limb, the shape of the limb and the volume of the limb are not constant. And so this is a constant challenge that many amputees deal with, is how to manage these shape and volume changes. So to address this problem of the changing limb shape and volume that occurs with most amputees, we've developed technology that can monitor the fit of the prosthetic socket over time. And in addition to that, we've placed uh, bladders and other things inside the liner that will allow, if we detect a shape change or a fit change, we can make accommodations for those changes by filling up these bladders with liquid. This is an example of a conventional prosthetic socket. It's custom fit to the anatomy of the amputee's residual limb. Typically, an amputee would wear a gel liner like this one inside of the socket to provide some cushioning. This is the conventional technology that's used. To improve upon this, we've decided instead of integrating our technologies into the socket itself, we've integrated it directly into the liner. In this case, we've integrated sensors at several different locations inside the liner. This allows us to monitor the fit to see if it's deviated from what the prosthetist intended. Additionally, we've also been able to integrate bladders directly into the liners, and this allows us to add fluid in those areas where volume's been lost if we've detected a change in fit. Uh, where we'd like to go in the future is to partner with companies to produce this technology in larger quantities, test on a broader pool of amputees, and ultimately to make it accessible as a product in the clinic to amputees and to clinicians. Ultimately, we want the dynamic socket to improve the comfort and quality of life of amputees.